Hello, hello, my wonderful collectives. Welcome to my channel. This is Slava. Good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right, my wonderful collectives, let's do another reading for you. What changing? What perhaps already changed? What messages do you need to hear? For my collectives, let's take a look. What is the current position in your life? What is potentially hidden from you? And what do you need to know? Messages for my collectives. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. Okay. All right, let's clarify these cards. So I kind of feel like with Nine of Pentacles, you're doing good. Like you, you could be happy with what you have. You're working towards your stability. Yes, it's difficult despite the difficulties that are being placed on you. In the bottom of the deck here, I have Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Someone here relentlessly relentlessly trying to cause you burdens 10 of once again see and i have also a seven of swords some sort of individuals this is, could be group of people with the three of swords uh, they understand their misery they understand their, that they're defeated they understand that there is nothing they can do to you and things are becoming more difficult and difficult for those who are trying to keep you in some sort of restrictions. They puffing and huffing, like I said, 10 of ones. They trying to cause you problems towards your stability. Someone here is so unhappy. So unhappy that you're happy. Because I have seven of swords here. So many attempts to trying to prevent your happiness and abundance and success and your comfort in life that you work so hard for, but it's not working for them. It's not working for them because three of swords coming in towards their, their evil plans. They understand that there's nothing they can do to prevent, but they're still trying. They're still trying. They're still trying to prevent your success and your abundance. Nine of Pentacles is a card in tarot that represents stability on all aspects of your life. Financially, emotionally, on a personal level. You have under everything under control. But this is more as a warning to you. Know that there is a people, maybe a group of people, that wish so hard... For you to fall. They waiting for that moment. For you to fall. But it's not working out. Because you. Standing strong. Happy. Who is this person? In pain. Miserable. Miserable. Lying. Deceitful. Going behind your back. So everything that is being done. To complicate potentially your finances. Are done behind your back. Who is this person that my collectives need to know about that is responsible for all of this? Who is this person? Who is this person? Wants to obtain victory over you. Obsessed with the idea to be better than you. Someone here wants their victory over you. That's what they want. Obsessed with the idea to win at any cost. Who is this community, people, person? Secret. It's a secret individual that acts behind the back secretly. Secretly manipulating, secretly trying to cause you harm, secretly trying to stick um, all this in your life, these sticks and burdens. It's a person that hiding their true self. You may not even know who this person is or seen this person or know who this person is. I see devil here in seven of swords. 
This is also an identification, uh, identification to me that these people may utilize magic, like curses, dark arts, to prevent you, to stall you, to put you in some sort of position where you do not feel comfort in life to isolate you. The goal here is to isolate you so you feel like you have no support from anybody, that you feel like you're all by yourself and there is no one there to help you. You understand they're, how they're operating here? Definitely utilizing magic here. Seven of Swords, Devil, and High Priestess. This is, could be that they're utilizing magic or that they're just that sick and secretly acting behind your back but i would not rule out the possibility that they are trying to artificially attract this victory in their life through either dark arts or manipulations show me who this person is i know there's a lot of secrets here who is this person is who is this person will of fortune Ace of Swords. At one point, change the course of your action, of your life. Three of Pentacles, some other female here, psychopathic female. Queen of Pentacles come up as your enemy. She's a light skin. She most likely has a light skin, uh, like a feral skin, light, light skinned female. Could be blonde or could have blue eyes. One or the other, but Caucasian. Okay? She and somebody else. So she cooperating with somebody else. Um, she gathers some some sort of group of like-minded sociopathic psychopaths. And she just cannot stand the fact that you're greater, that you're better. That you're successful, you're moving towards success and abundance. So your enemy is this female. She could herself practice some sort of magic. I don't know where she's pulling this information from. Google, Pinterest, YouTube, I don't know where. But something she's trying and attempting to do. She could pay somebody money to do this. Either participating in witchcraft and dark arts trying to entrap you to stall you but once again three of swords pain it's not working it's not working she doesn't get the point she doesn't understand that whatever she's trying to do to change the course of your destiny and your life is not going to happen it's not there is the higher power that is above that is in charge of your life and she cannot do nothing about it. But she's trying. Puffing and huffing. Why? My question, my next question is, let's, let's uplift a little bit more about this person. So what can I say to you? Like I said, she's Caucasian. She could have very feral white skin. Or she could be blonde. Okay, she loves money. She loves status. Um... She has some sort of group of supporters that's supporting her. Supporting her. Whatever she's doing is done, like I said, behind your back. What else can you tell me about this uh, sociopathic female here? The other woman. So she's the other woman. The other woman that if you were in a relationship, she was the other woman so I don't know how many women your ex-partner was with. But this is the other woman of that person you were with. If you're masculine then watching this, then this is your woman. Your ex. Your ex that doing this whole magic thing. And, and lies and manipulations. What else can you tell me about this other woman? Millet, madly in love. So she's madly in love with this man. There's no doubt about it. She's clearly psychopathic here. And um, high level of jealousy. She's still highly jealous of you. Beyond my words can even express. Beyond my words can even express. And she wants revenge. 
She wants revenge on you. She wants revenge. Her question is for what? <laughs> revenge for what? For you being you? For you being you, she wants a revenge. You, do you understand the sickness of this person? The fact that this person is obsessed and sick as is, is evidently clear without doubt. But the question is, why she wants a revenge? What is it that motivates this psychopathic, materialistic female to seek revenge against you? Let's take a look. She wants revenge. Why do you want revenge? Because see, will of fortune. She could have not, she cannot change the course of destiny. She cannot change the course of your destiny. She wants you to be restricted, to be miserable, to be in pain. She wants to win. There's some sort of sick obsession of victory where she feels by six and one, she has to be greater than you. How could a normal, mentally stable and sane individual? That's my question right now. How would ever a normal and sane, stable, confident individual be jealous of somebody else's life? That's exactly what she is. She is jealous of your life of who you are she wants to destroy your life because of revenge some sort of revenge <clears throat> why else she hates you queen of pentacles because you better right you better you yourself come up as a queen of pentacles and a magician. Meaning you in, in charge and in control of your life. She's jealous right now of your finances. She's jealous of your stability. She's jealous that you are in fact in control of your life. This female depends on other people. That pentacle she has, she didn't gain it by herself. You did. You did. See? Queen of Pentacles, that's you. Queen of Pentacles and a magician. Ev that pentacle, that financial stability that you have, that beautiful life that you made for yourself, you did it by yourself. Unlike her, she want to be you, but she is dependent upon other people. Other people. It's a, some sort of sick competition. She's, she want to be you. Why? There's another explanation of this reading. You come up as a queen of pentacles. She, she is a queen of pentacles. She want to be like you. She wants to be you. But she can't. She doesn't have. She was never destined to be you. She's dark. She's dark. There's so much darkness about her. The devil and high priestess. She attracts that wealth. Through lies, manipulation, deception. She's deceiving uh, people. She's lying to people. That pentacle she has, she only has because of other people that support her. That support her. Without this group of people that helping her financially, she would have not had nothing. And she knows that. She attracts her wealth and stability in life by, look, look at this, seven of swords twice. High priestess, the devil. Through what she attracts, what she has. Magic, perhaps. Sick, twisted, pathological lies. Yes, perhaps. Is that authentic here? It's a jealous, deceitful, psychopathic woman that is right now simply trying to win over you because you are independent and you are always destined to be financially stable and in charge of your own life. She cannot have that. That's why she wants revenge. Jealousy here. 
eating her from inside. That demon of jealousy eating her inside out. Tell me more about this female. It's a divine intervention here taking place in your life right now, by the way. Divine intervention, meaning that it's time to put everything back on its places. It's like she tried to steal your crown. Does that make sense? Steal from you. The copycat, the wannabe you. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? Fated meeting. Fated meeting for you is coming towards you as well. Someone hears a story, wants to apologize to you. Grass is greener on the other side. However, if this was the masculine that walked away from you because, because of a manipulation, magic, whatever, whatever you want to say of this other woman, this person is apologizing. They're apologizing because I feel like they're awakened. They realize something here. This is, could be your past person, like I said, that walked away to this other woman. Because, like I said, she's part of some sort of community. There's a lot of brainwashing here going on, a lot of lies. But someone here, I feel, if this is a masculine that walked away from you by choosing this copycat, fake person, that that masculine is, he's sorry. He's sorry for what? Because he saw the grass is greener on the other side. That's why he walked away to her. He saw that it's going to be better with her. But now he's realizing. He's real, realizing who is the true queen of pentacles. Who is this sorry? Who's sorry here? Who is apologetic? Who is Who wants to apologize to you? Someone here really wants to talk to you. Wants to apologize to you because they're realizing something. This person realizing the truth. Two of Cups, see, they're realizing that you are the one that they love. That you are the one that they want to be with. That going with this other woman was a mistake. Someone here is waking up. Waking up to the truth of what actually happened. The person that... He, he finally realized who you were to him. Who you were to him. Yeah, but stuck. See, stuck. He can't leave. He can't leave because this psychopath potentially do not let him leave. High priestess and the, and the devil. She, she holds him there in this connection. He can't leave, even if he wanted to. Every time he makes up his mind to contact you, get a hold of you, he gets always discouraged and there's something pops up unexpectedly. So know that she's, she did not act it herself. There's a group of people that helped this toxic, jealous female to kind of entrap, entrap because it was the other woman. It was the other woman. So he understands that he, he stuck. He stuck with this. He stuck. With this other fake here. What else can you tell me? But they're sorry. Cheating. He cheated on you. He cheated on you with this other woman. And and pretty much stuck. Because he saw that it would be better. Like I mentioned, grass appeared to be greener on the other side. Even though it's not. Could have not even been real grass. Who knows what it was. But anyways, he cheated. He's sorry about that. He saw that the grass was better on the other side. But now I feel like this person is finally, finally coming to realization that actually I'm stuck. That's not where I want to be. So eventually this person wants to be with someone that they truly love. And yes, they cheated on you. Because money was on their mind. Money was the key goal. This person chosen this other woman because of money. Money that she in fact has because of other people. Together, 
she could have some sort of business some sort of investments or she has connection to some sort of wealthy people for for your ex it was he broke up with you because money was the goal he cheated on you with her thinking that she's better and money was the key goal for him so he broke up with you because of money broke up with you and also of course there's a lot of fake and fabricated gossip that this other female um, involved including third party jealous jealous person jealous other person are you gonna wait for this ex of yours that cheated on you thinking grass is greener on the other side we have four of cups three of pentacles ace of wands too much conflicts there you know you know that this this whole thing is coming from from him there's also some sort of fire sign female involved one older female and one younger female together so you don't want to come back you don't want to come back you don't want to get involved in this situation uh, at all whatsoever was however it doesn't matter good for your ex that your ex finally you know everybody's entitled to know the truth because truth is important in life but he chosen he chosen to do this that's his choice this is his karma and um now he's gonna sleep in the bed he laid for himself now let's take a look what else should you be concerned should you be concerned about this queen of pentacles should you be concerned about this Queen of Pentacles in any way, shape, or form? Judgment, Hangman, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Tower. No. No, you should not be concerned about her whatsoever because um, under judgment, meaning that justice is going to be served regardless it's already potentially taking place judgment i have hangman i have signation and i have um, worries not to lose some sort of stability or lose chances but it all comes up into destruction so you should not be worried about her because you should remember who is the true queen of pentacles in in, in this life and that is you and that is you so whatever was meant to be yours, what is destined to be yours, will always going to be yours. So relevantly, this is only a matter of time before this jealous sociopathic female is going to lose everything. And she is going to lose everything. There's no more chances. I feel like after everything that she did, the sickness of this female towards you there's no justification there's judgment judgment karma karma she she is being served karma and everybody else that were involved in trying to bring so much pain and suffering to you and your family so you do not need to worry about this jealous female you don't what else what else fire sign we've seen this fire sign female coming up here same thing a failure frustrated she doesn't know how to do it either there's another like i said female and restrictions and and the tower and the ending <laughs> same thing there's some water sign loser also got involved fire sign water sign and 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 a queen of pentacles materialistic female she doesn't have to be a pentacles but whoever that other woman was that is so obsessed with seeking revenge so this whole community i should say right now i have three key players here two females one male i see the tensions i see restrictions this is could be a physical restrictions i see fear uncontrolled thoughts captivity captured cut arrested detained 
collapse. They'll offer some serious reality check here. Everything that they did is being exposed. Some hard, hardcore reality check for this community. They're really, really messed up. What else can you tell me about this trio? Absolute discharge. If you had some sort of issue with the law because of these cycles, fabricated evidence, try to set you up, cause you harm, you will be discharged. Absolute discharge, meaning you're free to go. You're not at fault for nothing. Because, like I said, they're, they're acting secretly. I have pain and suffering here. Medical. Brought you a lot of pain and suffering. Could have, could have been medical. Something these psychopaths here pulled. Well, we had one queen of pentacles. We knew that she was obsessed over a masculine. So one is obsessed over you know what. Uh, there's another psychopath here. Could be in the position of authority of some sort. And also a king of cups in reverse. Who is unintelligent. Uh, lack self-control all over the place. Maybe even have some sort of mental disorder himself. So all the pain and suffering you suffered could have been medically. Could have been medically. You will be compensated for you. See, I trusted you. So it's someone you trusted. Someone you trusted. And I have charges. So charges will be late. These people, like I said, they will be arrested. Whether they want it or don't. Too much ha damage. Too much harm. Too much. Too much for the higher power. Simply brushing under the carpet. It's not working this way. It's time for justice. It's time for truth. It's time to hold accountable those individuals that abused and violated the law. And the law serves one purpose. is to protect the people. Not to protect jealous axes or jealous wives. Or somebody else who thinks that they're in a position of authority and power. Everybody's equal before the law. And nobody is above it. And that is the fact. The charges will be served. Charges will be uh, laid against these liars. For all the pain and suffering you've been through because of lies and manipulations i have ending know that this is ending ending this desire this sickness to punish you the sick people try to punish you by causing you pain and suffering because they're themselves miserable envious jealous Money hungry, power hungry, they wanted to punish you. Well, it's about punishment comes up for them because they're sick. Addiction and unhealthy attachment. There's sickness here of these people's mind that they cannot let you go. They're lost in their fucking minds. Lost it. But know that justice will be served. Intentionally lie to you. How many liars? But I have FBI. I have CSIS. I have Interpol. They're a powerful organization here. Powerful organization. That is will bring forth these charges. To this corrupt sociopathic community. That thought that they can create law in their own little shed holes. That they are the law. So whoever these big boys coming in from FBI, CSIS, Interpol, MI56, CSIS, 
whatever other special forces unit. They're powerful. They're a lot more powerful than these losers. They're nobody. They're nobody. They saw that they could take advantage of technological era, hack somebody's Wi-Fi network, pull up fake crap out of their ass, and, and this is what fly. That's what they thought. But it won't. It will not. It will not. <clears throat> what else will be the judgment for these crooks? Confession. Confession. There's some, some other crook. Cop. Malice. Malice. Plotted. Manipulative. Tyrant. And there's a confession. See, there's a two, two psychopathic nutcases here. That were, like I said, either two lawyers, two cops, two military officials connected to law here that at one point supported this jealous queen of pentacles. The sociopathic jealous one. There's a confession coming in from these liars. So FBI or, or CSIS or, whoever, or Interpol, it's a big powerful organization, like I said, they're already looking into it. And what do they see? They see that male, one male, acts like a tyrant, completely manic. They see some female here who is absolutely bitter, deceitful, cruel. They're both psychopaths. That's exactly why they did what they did. Because there's no ethics, no morality to their behavior. So there will come free uh, confession coming up, coming up here. Confession. They won't be able to lie to these higher authorities. I mean, they're busted. That's what it means. Busted. They're busted. They got caught. They got caught. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Everybody sees clearly now. The special forces or whoever's doing this in an investigation, FBI, CIA, they see everything clearly. They know the truth. They know the truth. They know that they were desiring power, desiring money. They wanted revenge. It's a sick people. And the higher investigation forces, they, they know the truth. In secret, I have high priestess here. In secret, they secretly have been uh, observing every single thing. They know what happened to you. They they watched it. They seen it. They know. Point is that they know. I should put that song. She knows. So they know. They won't get out of it. I have a star and letter. That's your wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment, that's your innocence, that's your purity. That is an absolute discharge against all this fabricated shit charges that was laid on you. The accusation that was brought forth against you. You will be discharged. Discharged completely, free to go. That is going to be the ending. And that ending is coming sooner than you expected. So what can I say? I would wish a good luck to these psychopathic liars. But you know what? Luck won't help them anymore. Nor magic. Nothing will help them anymore. Because as you've seen my wonderful collectives earlier, we pulled the card of divine intervention. Meaning that this destruction, this tower moment... These destructions that coming towards these individuals is not from you. It's not coming from you. You're not a revengeful person. The punishment is going to be coming from God himself. And those individuals who were appointed to investigate such unprecedented miscarriage of justice and abuse.
so nothing they can do. Let's take a look what else, my wonderful collectives, you need to know. I see the things are going well for you. What's going to be yours will be yours, okay? This is you, a beautiful, incredible, powerful, grounded, kind, loving person. And what was meant to be yours by the will of fortune will find your way to you. And what's interesting about this will of fortune, we have a pentacle here and you have a pentacle. That pentacle belongs to you. You see? So whatever belongs to you, the universe will give it back to you. Therefore, no matter what this jealous female wants, the wannabe you, she's going to be who she is. And that is love life, miserable, pathetic, full of hate and jealousy. She will never be you. What other messages for my wonderful collectives do I have? What else my wonderful collectives need to know or hear today? Cassandra, see? Psychic prophecy, disbelief. Nobody believed you at first. Nobody believed you in, at first. They thought you crazy, <laughs> right? They thought you crazy. Oh, she's talking nonsense. You you like that Cassandra in a Greek mythology where you knew the truth, you told the truth, and only time, only time showed that you were correct all along, that you were right 110% all along. So in a way, I feel like your enemies are in shock in this belief, how could you know? So there is this level of mystery to you, psychic, prophecy. You, you are believed now. If you weren't believed before because of these liars who put on the fake masks of righteous, you ripped that right off. And you show the true faces of who is who. Just as a Cassandra. That had a gift of prophecy. But wasn't believed. Until damage was done. And I feel like you quite closely relate to this Greek myth. So if you have time, you can, you can read up on it about Cassandra and all of her warnings to the to the to the government to the government to leadership about the destruction that is faced at that time so you will be believed this is the message you are believed and you are being seen from a completely different perspective I have occupation. Yeah, occupation. Clarify occupation. Clarified occupation. Expectation. Occupation. Bad health. See, you, you, you didn't believe. You didn't believe. You weren't believed because these crooks. Remember we've seen these two cops, two military, whoever they are. They, they were believed. Primarily because of their job. About their status. About their badge about what they do for a living. So a no normal person, even from FBI, uh, investigating, let's say, a lawyer, they would think like, well, why would anybody do that? You have to be an idiot to, to participate in such corruption. That's why it's taken such a long time, because nobody believed you. Because they themselves could have not believed that someone in a position of authority would be so sick. We have bad health here and occupation. Sick. How could you be so sick having the status and the job you're having right now? But now, like I said, they do believe it. You weren't believed then. 
I have family room. Expectations sinking, right? They assess the situation. They had a closer look in somebody's office. They had a closer look how somebody lives. How, what they do for a job. Who they are. Message. Female. They could have intercepted some sort of communication in the house. In some government building. House always represents some sort of building. Official building. They seen it with their own eyes. They seen it with their own eyes. But they couldn't believe in you for a longest time because of position of authority and there's some male involved here. They seen the conversation or email between female and male in, uh, and I have imprisonment and I have justice. So they gonna go to jail. That male and female that working together in some sort of build, building or organization. Um, you might have called it out a long time ago. Like I said, you just weren't believed until these officials, whoever they are, FBI, CSIS, whoever they are, they 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 seen it with their own eyes. That yeah, you were right all along. So, anyways, there is imprisonment here, and and they will be brought to justice. This male and female, okay. Along this jealous ex we seen here, connected to your ex boyfriend. Okay, my wonderful collectives, I truly hope you enjoy this reading, this beautiful reading for you because you're so awesome. And what else I want to say? I want to say I love you. You're awesome. I am so, so grateful for you. So grateful that I have such an incredible soul family. And once again, thank you so much for your support of my channel. I appreciate your donations to my channel. Um, stay blessed. Be happy. And know that divine always right beside you. All right, my wonderful collectives. I'll see you next time. Bye.